Seeing the presence of the quorum, I'm going to call this meeting of GOL to order. <clears throat> it is December 1, and it is 10.33 in the morning. First, I'm just going to, uh, well, let me just read our instructions first. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of, Acts, of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted by a remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone, and I'll provide instructions for that if needed. No, person, uh, uh, no personal attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. I'm just gonna make sure that um, everyone can hear and be heard. So Darcy? Yes. And Mandy? Present. And I, uh, Pat has said she will not be here. And uh, Sarah has not responded to my emails, so I will wait and see, but um, I don't know if she's attending or not. Um, so I'm gonna put up the agenda and I'll just, uh, oh, that's nice. Oh, there it is, thank you. Um, okay, let's do this. So hopefully you can see that. We're gonna begin with Human Rights Declaration. Mandy has uh, had a chance to look at it. Thank you very much, Mandy. And uh, we're gonna take a quick look at that. Hopefully we can get that out the door. Then I have a couple of reports that are going out under our name as a committee. I just wanted you, hopefully you've had a chance to look at it. We'll look at them briefly, hopefully quickly. Make sure you're okay with uh, the format and with the one or two quick questions I have that I hope can be answered. Um, the main uh, issue today is the item number six review town manager goals for 2022. Um, I've gotten emails from uh, Darcy. I got uh, something from Lynn and also um, who else? Uh, I think that's it at the moment. Um, and also comments from uh, Paul that I'll be sharing with you. Um, and hopefully we can bang that out. And then we have some minutes to look at. And I have nothing unanticipated that I'm aware of. Okay. All right, I'm going to uh, put that aside and I'm going to put up the human rights declaration and let's take a look at it. Mandy, I agree with you. I don't know how, I mean, hopefully this was not the one that we actually <laughs> sent out to the public, um, but maybe it was early in the year. I don't know what happened. Um, so we're going to take a look at this. Okay. Can everybody see that? Is that okay? All right. Council sponsor, uh, Councilor Haneke, um, Community Sponsors, Human Rights Commission. Um, Mandy has inserted ANDs, which were not in the original document that we were working with. Um, in section two, whereas in 2016, the United Nations called on everyone to stand up for someone's rights on Human Rights Day. Um, and residents of Amherst have expressed their belief in, okay. Those, those were capitals to lower cases. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, in 2009, again, same thing, and missing a typo there. Um, yeah, that was two separate sentences, so I just turned it into one. One, okay, let's just look at it, yeah. Right. By Thank using you. a semicolon instead of a period. Thank you. Town meeting, apparently, it was just that town has also adopted? It, it, it said meet, meeting was not capitalized. Okay, thank you. I can't, yeah, I should, let me just see if I can open this a bit. I can see the comments. All right. Uh, okay. Now, so the, the only major change that seems bandy is the now therefore clause. Yeah. So right before that, the last whereas was two sentences. Um, and the well, it was actually three sentences. It's actually still two. I just missed one. Okay. Um, the last whereas we should put a semicolon next before after them and before they and change it into one sentence. Let me see if I can do that. Um, 
the, they bind us together as a global community. We could just yeah. turn into a semicolon and a lowercase t. Okay, hang on for a second. Let me just get this. Um, but after, after that, sent, so the last whereas was four sentences. And instead of creating lots of whereases, the okay. last two sentences were, as a town council, we have always embraced every opportunity to reflect and embody these values in our work for the community. We do so again today. And so I just tried to incorporate that into the now therefore. Okay. The Amherst Town Council, by proclaiming December 10, 2021, Human Rights Day, encourages our community to embrace every opportunity to reflect and embody the values of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in the work of the community and urges Amherst residents to celebrate this day with the communal reading of the Declaration of Human Rights. Um, and we're, again, we're assuming this is the right time and place. Uh, yeah, um, it's always been on December 10th. I yeah. feel like some years it's 4 p.m. and some years it's 6 p.m. Um, yeah. So we'll yeah. need to check with Jennifer Moist okay. and I just checked the town calendar. It's not on there yet, yeah. so. Okay. We'll have to check, all right. And where's the editing needed in the whereas clause, the second whereas clause? The last whereas clause. Yeah. The very, actually, right. all Here. the way down, yeah. th right there. I just put a semicolon and then turn the capital they into a lowercase they. So it's one sentence, technically. Okay. Yep. Anything else? All right. Um, so seeing no other comments, and again, Mandy, thank you for taking the time to do this. I am going to make a motion to declare um, the Human Rights Day Proclamation of 2021 to be clear, consistent, and actionable. I'll second. So we have a motion and second. I'm going to go right to a vote. Uh, start with Darcy. Yes. Uh, Mandy. Yes. And the chair is a yes. So the vote is three in favor, none opposed, and um, two absent. Let me just save this and let me put it, stop sharing, and let me put it away for the moment. All right. Next item on our agenda are a number of items in the folder related to um, I think I'm going to start, according to the agenda, I'm going to start with the disposition of bylaws. For future. I'm going to start with our committee report. Let me just find it. Okay, not carry over. Yep. Okay, there it is. All right. Um, take a look at it. Uh, so this is the report to the council on the bylaws for future consideration 12-621. Um, I'm planning to send it to Athena. You're not um, sharing it to the screen if you were intending to. No, I am. There it okay. goes. Okay. Um, So the, I still can make changes to this document, obviously, um, and I can, it's, it's due for the council packet in December 6th. So um, I have a, a day or two, I can play with it if I need to, um, but I'm hoping that it's in finished form. I have one or two places that I have questions, but um, essentially the format has a brief introduction. Maybe you should all read that to make sure that you're okay with it. Um, suggestion was made um, that we should note that we had some difficulty getting um, relevant committees and department heads uh, to weigh in. And it's just an observation, it's not a complaint, um, but simply uh, noting that. And it's our, and the recommendation is the council should prioritize which bylaws among those being carried over they want GOL actively working on. Um, I'm a little dubious that that will actually happen. I think GOL would just get this document and, be, and you know start tacking, hacking away at it but I think it's a good idea. Um, I never, I don't remember whatever happened to the uh, condominium and cooperative conversion. I just don't remember. I could reach I out to- I don't think we did anything with it. No, we didn't do anything. And I, I, Kathy was somehow in, in, interested in it, but it was actually part of the, uh, the actual referral, which is why it's here. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna leave it that way. And if somebody has concern about it, I guess they can speak up. I can reach out to Kathy, but um, we never dealt with it. Um, 
So the way it is, we just, I went through every single bylaw. I think there were 28 or 29. Ultimately, I think there was one or two that were doubly or trip referenced twice. Um, but with each one, um, brief, very brief background, mostly taken from our table that we were working with. Um, and then the recommendation. Okay. George? Yep. Before you scroll off of that page, I had one change on that page. Okay. And which is under bylaw 2.4, the recommendation. You referred to the human relations director. It's the human right. resources director. Right. Okay. Human resources. Okay. Uh, and uh, we did, so that was housing trust. Again, our recommendation, uh, some of these we voted on, most of them we did not. Um, uh, okay. So this is the format. I don't think I've asked people to look at this in advance. I don't wanna go through the whole thing again. Um, if people had to have a chance and they do wish to check it because it is under your name, not just mine, um, I can still take comments, but I would like to get this uh, off to Athena. No later than tomorrow, preferably today, but I can certainly wait a day if people Do you want, want my short comments now as you scroll through? Uh, the uh, one other option is to send it to me and I can just uh, put them in, but probably wise for us to, why don't we just go through them quickly? Yeah. Um, so right. as we go through this, you just stop and we will um, comment or you make your suggestions. So on the next, on this page, is there anything? Um, no, my next one's on page three under nuisance house. Okay, nuisance house, background here, right? Go ahead. Yep. In the recommendation, the last sentence, you say GOL needs to decide whether this review is appropriate to yeah. a current GOL or right. refer to, I, I recommend saying the town council needs right. to decide. Yeah, <laughs> right. This review is appropriate to current GOL and needs to be referred to a separate town council committee. Thank you very much. Anything else here? Uh, no. Okay. All right, next page, page the four. Next page, bylaws 2.4 and 3.3, .3, personnel and human rights. No, it's yeah. on page four. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, for you, it's port four and five. You see 2.4 personnel. I just right. thought of reference to the, that was one of the first things that was listed on page one, too. So right. just the right. reference to see above for additional items on this bylaw. Okay. Somewhere in there. All right, background. Prefer this bylaw. Because it's now listed twice. Right because they were slightly different issues. Right. Um, you feel like they should be cross-referenced? I, I would just cross-reference it. Okay. And where so that they know we know there's two issues. Right. Okay. I, I did it right in the title. Well, bylaw here? for personnel. And then in parentheses, just wrote, see above for additional items on this bylaw. Okay. And the same for the next one, Human Rights and Human Rights Commission. Right. Okay. Oh, I hate it. I you. know. All right, hang on for a second. I have a way to solve this problem. No, it didn't work. Okay. All right. Um, hang on. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to leave it that way. Actually. Okay. It. No All right. So Here's where it looked I, yeah. like you didn't know what WRT. I meant. have no idea what WRT meant. With Sorry. respect to. Okay. Thank you. I knew someone would know. <laughs> okay. To language. And again, uh, Darcy, just for their sake, I, this is largely taken from the. Uh, almost always taken from the uh, table that we were using over the many, many months where people were, uh, and that was based on the original uh, by, uh, bylaw review committee document. So there's a couple of documents where this was coming from. Okay, anything well, else in this page? Next are on page six with jumped vehicles. Okay, open burning. I would like to, I'm trying to do this. Yep. Not that it makes it, it probably won't work. Okay, anyway, open burning, yep. Uh, junked vehicles. Oh, sorry, junk vehicles, yes. So yeah. the recommendation. I sent this to Pat too, because she, I think it was her comments that we're looking at, right? I feel like, so So I think no council action, this one, and then there's a recreational vehicles or something that's later on that I recommend putting yeah. right next to junked vehicles or including together. 
Yeah. Um, like you did with the very first personnel and human rights when they were the same, because I think your background is exactly the same on both. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I wondered if the recommendation is not just no council action, but something like I had I, my wording was, although if the council desires to clarify the wording, it should refer to the appropriate town council committee for substantive discussion and recommendations. Hmm. Okay. Because your original thought and mine was the chief, I mean, the chief had made, I mean, here he makes some suggestions, but right. um, there, you know, um, so your suggestion is no council action at this time. So, whoop, okay, Oops. what did I just do? Okay, all right. I think you deleted the whole thing. No, you didn't, okay. All right, sorry, sorry. Okay, all right. Let's get this right, okay. So no council action at this time. At this time. Yeah. And then if, something like if the council desires or wants to clarify the wording, it should refer to the appropriate town council committee. The town council committee. Okay. Uh, in the paragraph, the first paragraph in background there, yep. underlined it's, just get rid of the apostrophe. Yep, thank you. That's correct. It's use. Okay, good. Tax increment financing. Yep. It, we just need to update some wording. Um, the while we thought rescinding might be an option, the current proposal for responsible employer, it's it's now the new bylaw for responsible employer right. or the right. new yeah. responsible employer bylaw. The new, I'm just get rid of the four. New, new bylaw. For responsible employer or the, the new, new responsible, responsible employer, employer bylaw. bylaw. Thank you. We just, we had right. done it when it hadn't been adopted yet. Right. Thank you. And I can never decide whether to capitalize bylaw. I basically capitalize <laughs> it wherever I see it. I just gave up. Um, I'm sure I missed a few. Anything else here? Uh, nope. I'm down to regulation of signs, which is page eight for me. Yeah. That was my next comment. Okay. Discharging of firearms. Okay. Again, I'll go back through this and check it one last time. But okay. This is page eight. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, you're there. That one. Oh, okay. wait, no. Regulation of signs is right above snow and ice, that yep. one. Yep. So the question I had on regulation of signs, yep. the recommendation was to carry it over to the next legislative session. Most of the sign stuff is in the zoning bylaw. So I yeah. wondered if instead of carrying it over for council, yeah. given all of the comments about legalities and all, if we yeah. wanted to recommend referral to the town manager and subsequently like the planning department and town attorney or something. Okay. So this would, this one, okay, I'm gonna make a note. This one would come out of the other document. Of carryover and move right. to referral to town manager. Right. I don't think regulation of signs is something this counselors can take care of without, I think it needs written by yep, yep, an yep, attorney exactly. and the planning department. So, Language I've been using, um, no, I'm sorry, well, we'll just make it up here. Um, so recommend. Uh, so we'll delete the whole we, that and yeah. let's see if I can find one. Where's the language I've been using? Um, 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 or we could just get rid of, I mean, just, so the language I mean, is referral to the town manager for review by. Right. So, so we recommend or um, how do, yeah, what have we been using? Um, the just, language is we've been using referral to the town manager for review by and then whatever committees it is. So, and just take it all out then. Yeah. And I'd recommend town attorney and planning department. For further, what do we say for further action? Oh, for, for review and possible action. 
No, what do we say? No, it's uh, just for review by a town attorney and planning department. That's it. Thank you. So I need to note that, put, put you know, into referral. Okay, I'll make that change. We may make it this morning if we have time, but I'd like to get through this. Okay, anything else? One, one last one, the yeah. use of recreational vehicles, that one. Yeah. Yeah, right Since here. the language is pretty much exactly the same as the one for junked vehicles, I would just combine them, move RV ones up to junked vehicles and just deal with them sort of. Right, the, the recommendation for, uh, so we want to move 3.43, to, to right after junked vehicles in the document. Okay, let's do that now. Because it's the same quote from the chief and... Yeah. Well, let's find junk vehicles. Um, page six. Right there. Okay, so you're thinking... You, you, um, could they just combine all three? We just combine. That's what I was thinking. Bylaw three point four two junk vehicles and bylaw three point four three use of recreational vehicles near residences. Shortens the whole document by a half a page that way. Right. Um, Okay, so, and we're not changing the recommendation you know, for either one. Okay. That was all I had. Okay. You did a great job, George. Well, thank you for your help. Um, all right, good. So um, this is, I'm not gonna vote on this unless people insist. I just wanted people to see it. The other thing I was going to append um, a memo that um, Mandy had sent on March 3rd, 2021, just um, for the sake of whoever gets this as a way of, of providing information. And then also the summary of bylaw disposition, which we're gonna look at in a second, which is just like a, you know, sort of a table of contents. Um, and uh, Mandy, you don't know of a way to just take a document and attach it. What I end up doing is having to copy the document and then just paste it in. That's, that's the only way I know to do this. So these exist as separate documents. And I'm wondering if there's a way simply to attach, quote unquote, attach it to this. But I think, any thoughts on that? Um, I always just do it after I convert everything to PDF, so. Ah, okay, yeah, I don't. So yeah, okay. copy paste right. with yeah, a right, section break would work just as fine. All right, I'm gonna save this. I'm going to put it, I'm uh, gonna stop sharing. And I'm gonna put it aside. Um, the next document quickly is the summary. Is it the summary? Let me see what we got here. Uh, carryover measures that, yes, we do wanna look at that. Um, and I think we just decided to um, take 3.34 out. So yes. uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, and I have one addition. Good, let me just get it up first. I gotta find it here. All right. Come on, okay. Someday when I'm 110, I'll know how to use a computer. Come on. All right, well, okay. I don't want that. Chair duty, summary of dollars, position to report. Maybe this is it. Yep, thank you, sorry about that. So let me put this up on the screen. This is something Lynn actually wants today. Um, and I hope to send it to her after we're done. Um, so let's take a look at it. Uh, here I cribbed shamelessly from Councillor Ross, who created a similar document for um, TSO. Uh, Darcy, you may say this looks very similar because <laughs> it is pretty much copied from him, uh, at least the format. So we introduced it uh, simply listing the four categories. Um, and, uh, and I don't believe we have anything under eight, nine or eight, nine, A and B. Uh, so that's where I want to add something ah, for okay, one. Uh, which one? For number automatically, one? Add automatic carryover. Yep. Is the solar moratorium proposed article zoning bylaw article 16 moratorium on it's got too long of a name but the solar moratorium 
Okay, so I, that's been we, formally referred to GOL for its, you know, clarity, consistency, and actionability review that won't happen until the new council comes in. Okay, so I can fudge, I can get the wording on this, but basically, essentially, it's, um, it's we just want to list the name of the bylaw. Yeah, Maybe. proposed Article 16, temp, uh, moratorium, temporary moratorium on. Okay. And the, the title of that is really long. And so I will have to find that title. That's fine. Okay. You can find that title. I, I can email it to you. I can look it up. But, um, and I will fix the indentation later. Um, so we do have that article that's going to be automatically carried over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dot, dot, dot. And nothing for 8A and B. And now... Um, these uh, following bylaws are referred to as bylaws for consideration, but if I've been able to go through them, so background. So these would contain, all uh, right, and table bylaws, very few updates. Okay, okay. And we took out, we said we took out 3.34. Mm -hmm. And so that's coming out. And everything else is, okay. And uh, all right, and I will make that change. Okay, good. So that's it. And then um, we have no items that uh, should not be carried over. And so it's just, that's that. Okay. Let me save this again. Let me stop, Shh. let me save it first. Let me stop sharing. And then move it over into the uh, side. All right. Um, next. Um, I think the summary document is something. It's just uh, in. It's an insider document, so um, I'm not going to worry. I'll take care of that. I just wanted quickly to look at the chair duties very quickly. I don't know that anyone has any concerns, but. This again is an internal document. It doesn't go to the council, but it does go, um, I think a, a version of it's already in on SharePoint, but I'm gonna make sure that this replaces it. Um, and the only, again, this can be changed at any point between now and the time when we finally uh, close up shop for good. But um, so if you have a chance and you wanna check it out just to make sure I haven't missed anything, that I haven't worded anything in an incorrect fashion. But what I tried to do is lay out as best from my memory um, what the GOL chair is required to do. It's, it's uh, okay. So I, did anybody have any particular thoughts on this or concerns? Is anything missing? Um, uh, if not, I just wanted you to see it and you can get me comments at any point, but if I don't hear from anybody, um, this is what it's gonna be. It looks good. A, I, yeah, please, Darcy, go ahead. I just have a quick question that's yeah. somewhat related. Um, is I'm assuming that the SharePoint of all the committees is just going to carry over as kind of an archive of the first legislative session, right? I don't know if, if Athena is present on this, but my assumption is yes, that, that is they would carry over. And uh, Athena, any thoughts on that? Um, unless you want to advise us otherwise, um, we would just... I mean, it's it's sort of up to the committee how they want to organize their documents. I wouldn't create a new SharePoint for the new committees unless they're no, right. totally, you know, dissolved and then they're reestablished as something else. It just seems overly cumbersome. So yeah. if you want to take the existing documents and put them into a an archive folder, that's up to you. If you want so it's it's flexible in that way, unless you want to advise the council as a whole to do something in a particular way. I'd be open to that. Okay. Yeah, it just makes sense. They it seems like the new committees will want to look back at the former minutes and the former agendas and you know, so just carrying it over as is if the committees are staying as is makes sense, doesn't it? And and Darcy, yes, I think you're right. I think that uh, from my perspective, what would be valuable um, is for members of this committee to just take a look at some point, maybe you've already done this at the SharePoint, at our SharePoint uh, site. And if you see anything missing or if you think it's confusing or, but essentially what I'm doing is putting everything in there 
that I think they will need, including obviously previous minutes and, and agendas and the rest, um, but also a whole host of documents that they're going to need access to in order to continue their work. It's all going to be left there and uh, all that will change will be there'll be new names or new members of the committee, but and the chair, whoever he or she may be, um, will then access SharePoint. Um, so I guess what I'm asking of you and Mandy and anyone else on the committee is if you know, take a look at it at some point, and if you see something missing or if you think it's confusing or it's not clear. So imagine, in other words, you're sort of a newbie to GOL and you go to, you know, say you're a new chair and you go to our uh, SharePoint site. Um, is, is it fairly clear what things, you know, I try to label them fairly clearly. I try to put them together in various groupings, um, but uh, that's, and this will be there as well. So Yeah, it seems like there, it would be helpful to have a new folder entitled, um, yeah, whatever, tw you know, 2022, 2023 ah. session. Okay. Founding, okay. founding okay. documents, not founding, but carryover documents. So okay. Okay. sort of like, uh, you know, the, the okay. referral that, that um, Mandy Joe made to TSO when we split duties, um, you know, that's in our, in the TSO like founding documents. Okay. So that, you know, yeah. okay. documents. I would right. disagree um, to a ahead. certain extent because yeah. the way SharePoint's organized now, there's a meeting packets and it's by year. Yeah. We don't need to create an archive meeting packets and a new meeting packets. We just need a new folder that says 2022. Right. And, and I'm assuming, packets. Okay. you know, right. we don't okay. need a new archive minutes and or first town council minutes, second town council minutes. We just need to continue that folder system with 2022 minutes, 2023 right. minutes. Um, right. And I'm assuming the new chair right. will figure, figure that out without any problem. Yeah. Yeah. 20 uh, TSO yeah. has a folder um, that okay. is a founding documents. So let me look, let me look at TSO. Yeah, let me look at TSO and see maybe I can find a model and um, see if I can. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. CRC just has a relevant documents and then it's got some extra folders for appointment recommendations and for public hearing samples. Okay. document samples. I just created new folders for document samples. Okay. Um, All right. Well, again, what I ask is that if you, when you're free time, ha ha, um, if you have a moment to just take a look at it and maybe you've already done so, but when you do, if you do, and you see something that uh, you don't understand, doesn't seem clear, if you see something missing, um, I'll take a look at the TSO site. I'll also look at the CRC site. Um, we glanced at it last meeting briefly. Um, I was very proud of all the things I put there, but that, that doesn't mean it's the way it should be. So I, any input you have, send it to me, email it to me, um, and I can change that obviously up until December, whatever, 31st. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm assuming this is okay, at least for the moment. I just want you to see it, and I will put this revised version on the, uh, the SharePoint site, and that's where it will sit. Um, and uh, all right. Okay, so I want to turn now, unless anyone has any other issues, to um, town manager goals. And um, uh, I've got Darcy. If your comments, I'm going to see how I can do this. Um, the document we're going to work with is a document. Let me just open that first. Um, Make sure it's the one I want. This is a document that um, I have done some edits in. Lynn has made some comments on, and I think also Mandy. Um, yeah, so, and they're all marked. It's all, um, I know. So let's, let me just open this up so we can see it. And let me, um, Share the screen as soon as I can find, go away. Okay. There we are. All right. Okay. All right, 
So this is, unless you're sure, yeah, track changes are on. Um, get out of here. Okay. Uh, we've changed the date. Uh, so let's, we're gonna go section by section. Um, Darcy has given us uh, some uh, suggested edits for um, the uh, first goal, climate action. And um, we're gonna look at those. And uh, people okay with the preface. So town council performance goals for the town manager, January 1 to December 31. Um, I don't think it's our place to weigh in on, you know, uh, two-year goals or one-year goals, although we could. Uh, I thought the discussion was somewhat uh, diffuse on that. Um, also, I believe it was Alyssa had issues about why we had suddenly gone to calendar year, um, but we have gone to calendar year, and unless there's a revolt on the council, I think this is going to be what it is. Um, uh, change the year 2022. Now, we had a year which will pose serious fiscal and operational challenges and uncertainties. That partly was a reflection of COVID and the, the uh, results of COVID. Um, I'm wondering if, you know, I mean, in a sense, every year always poses challenges, right? <laughs> but I felt that was put in for a special reason. Um, I just don't know what people don't really care. Do you want to take it out? Um, you know, town policy goals set up below reflect the town council priorities for 2022, period. Any you know, thoughts? I, I was looking at that one too, and yeah. On the other and, hand, and we're, we're ambivalent. It applies to every year. It probably applies to this one, especially since we're potentially adding a couple of new departments That's to the exactly. town. Right. You know, but at the same time, the introduction, it would be nice if all you ever have to do is change the year, right? I <laughs> know. Oh, but I think given your, I mean, we are creating two new departments and um, that's a major, major change. Um, and that will certainly pose, maybe take out serious, just pose fiscal and operational challenges and uncertainties. I don't know, I don't know. Darcy, any thoughts? Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, all right. I'm trying to decide myself how I feel about this. Yeah, it's strange when you're just copying the language from a previous year. <laughs> I agree. The, the preface should reflect, you know, as we think about the coming year, um, that language should reflect that. It shouldn't just be, you know, um, and that's why we're reading it. Um, and um, I think Mandy's right, given what's coming for this year, um, there do seem to be some unusual challenges that we face. Right. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's certainly so, true. I mean, yeah, so I, that's, yeah, not it's like true. it's not true. <laughs> exactly. So let's we'll leave it in. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, it's not false. Um, and so I, I like the rest of it, though. I think we worked really hard on this. I'm very proud of it. I'm proud of what GOL did as a group fashioning this. So these policy goals are deeply interrelated and overarching and should guide act decision making at all levels and, um, and its provisions of core municipal services. Okay, what well, provision of core common municipal services? Should there be a comma there? Because a core needs a, a either a noun or it just is modifying municipal, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem to core need. Core is it. modifying municipal. That shouldn't be there. All right, all right, excuse me. I should check and see. Okay. So the government has provision of core municipal, or just it could be provision of municipal services. I mean, what's the point of core here? Um, yeah, what is the point? I'm not sure either. Yeah. Um, these policy goals are deeply interrelated and overarching and should guide decision-making at all levels of town government as provision of municipal services. That's what I would suggest. And are meant to be used by the town manager set priorities, direct work activities, and allocate staffing and financial resources. I think that's fine. The manager goals reflect the requirement to assess the day-to-day -day performance of the manager's duties as set forth in charter, as well as the ability to supervise a significant workforce. All right. All right, now, um, here's where it gets a little tricky technologically. I wanna put Darcy's uh, document up on the screen so we all can see it. 
Um, I didn't go ahead and just make the edits because I'm not sure quite how to do that. Um, can I share two? I don't think I can. You have to two. share your screen and have them both on the screen at the same time to be able to see both. All right. So I'm going to. This should continue to be. Uh, so. Well, yeah, I, instead I can of stop sharing share. a document on the screen, you have to share your just computer screen. Oh, I just share the screen itself. All right. Yeah. Okay. So and then whatever yeah. you're seeing on your screen, we will okay. see. Okay. Well. I, I think right, I, I've got the, I've got the draft up here. I I would just need to see Darcy's. I don't know what Darcy. I'm okay with. No, I want to have. I want to do what you suggest. Let me open Darcy's document, and I will. I don't mind showing you my whole screen. Um, he said. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Um, if I can find it. So Mandy Darcy. Darcy okay. Climate action. There it is. Thank you. All right, so there is Mandy's document. I'm sorry, Darcy's document. And so now I'm going to go back to, oh God, okay. Okay, bear with me. I'm gonna now share screen. I'm gonna share everything. So this is the desktop, okay, and I want to get, let's see if I can minimize this. Okay, and I'm going to start so you can see everything. So let me put you over here for a moment. So, um, oh, can you move the. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 and, yeah. Uh, and then click on mine so it'll, oops, wait a minute. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, it's <laughs> going to be confusing. I apologize. I'm not I, the worst. I really person. only need to see Darcy's because the other one, yeah. you, you'll need to, that one to type into. But if I could, if we could just prioritize Darcy's, would be great. Okay. So let's, let's for the second, let's look at Darcy's and then I can go and make changes. So um, what Darcy you've done here, actually, why don't you take us? Yeah. Can, go can ahead. I just explain it, George? Please go ahead. Yes. Um, yeah, the first sentence is, um, I believe, the same as what is already there. Uh, the the uh, climate, Manny, can you climate check action that? objective, yeah. I think. Yes. Good. Then I, I split the implementing community choice aggregation, a sep made it separate from implementing portions of the climate action plan because it, it is separate. Okay. Um, and um, so, and they're both super important. So I don't see joining them. Um, okay. so, uh, that makes sense. Okay. So anyway, and I put in for the climate action plan, right. implementing portions, because the climate action plan has a 2025 roadmap. Right. And right. so we're not going to be implementing the whole thing in the next right. fiscal year or the next mm -hmm. calendar year. Mm -hmm. So I put in the portions that would be implemented, prioritized for FY 2022 and 2023, because calendar year is in both of them. Right. And um, so, um, and I took out the adopted by the town council because it's basically right now the town, you know, it's, it's a, the CARP is a plan of the staff and, you know, that's been joined in with the ECAC, but it's primarily a staff plan and it is, the finance director right now is working with ECAC basically right. to try to figure out priorities. Right. And um, and uh, we have a funding stream, which yep. is you know the one hundred thousand for twenty twenty two, and then we have ARPA funds. Right. So it's not too much of an issue of like deciding what gets funded um, uh, for the town council. It's more the finance director figuring out like how we can do this. Um, so I think it complicates things 
to, because there may be a priority list of 15 things that are, are listed one through, you know, 15, and it just gets complicated. And it's something that we're hoping the finance director will help with, you know, within the next month or two. Right. So um, just, okay. I just think that it would be nice if the town council trusted the finance director to right. come up with this and not having to go back for individual of those actions. Right, right, right. Can I ask a question, Darcy? Please. Yes. Um, I thank you for that explanation because that, that helped me get towards being okay with this language, but I do have one question about prioritized. I was confused as to who's prioritizing it. Is it the finance director? Is it ECAC? Is it um, Stephanie, our sustainability coordinator? Or is it a bunch of them? I, yeah, I just don't know. It's, it's basically staff. I mean, ECAC will be okay. weighing in and they'll be weighing into the town council um, they'll, and they'll be weighing in to the finance director uh, which, and he has asked us to weigh in because it's confusing for everybody. Um, yeah. And, um, but it'll be staff that ultimately, and probably Paul will ultimately, you know, be the, be the decider. Um, you then add like prioritized by the manager, by town staff, by who prioritizing is, who is prioritizing it just so it's a little clearer. Um, we could say prioritized by the town manager. That would be okay. Um, I'm just going to make changes to this for the moment. Um, but I'm wondering, implementing portions of the climate action. Um, remember, this is Paul, basically, this is for Paul. So what it's basically saying to Paul is we want you to implement, implement portions of the, of the CARP um, that, have been prior to, that have been prioritized to start implementation in that year. So um, I'm not sure, do we really need it? We probably, yeah, go ahead. I mean, if, if it doesn't say town council, then it means <laughs> town manager anyway. Right. Um, and if it's directed to him, but I, I don't have any problem with putting in town manager. I think that it's understood if we don't put in town council. Right, I mean, the document um, is addressed to him. I mean, it's essentially, you know, yeah. this is our message to him. I like um, that that have been prioritized and then it could be for implementation by 20 FY 2023 or, or for implementation in FY 22 and FY 23. Uh, instead of to start. Yeah, so, well, no, a, a lot of these things. Are they, they multiple need, years? They need implementation? to start and they, there's no way they're going. I, I mean, if you're saying they need to be fully implemented. I just hate the use of the word implementing twice. Um, that's just me and my language, uh, you know, uh, fetishes, but uh, right. implementing no, I... to start implementing. Um, we want him to implement portions that have been prioritized. Um, you could just say, what well for what for action for i'm looking up cinnamon synonyms yeah i'm sorry i don't want to beat this for to execution death, but, uh, prioritize for um if, or we could just leave it darcy your thoughts i just need i mean it just needs to say to start because a lot of them are yeah we'll have a timeline where they'll start in 2022 right. and they right. may not be completely implemented for right two right. or three right. years right. Right. Um, and, and it's a goal we can measure. I mean, the other thing in my mind yeah. is always, is this something we can actually look and say, and Paul can look and say, well, I did or I didn't do it. Um, and this is something in that category. This could be, you could measure this. You could say, well, you know, this was prioritized to start in fiscal 2022, but he didn't do anything with it or he did. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and FYI, you know, the fact that I put these in a row in, in like, uh, bullet order type, um, you know, it doesn't have to be because that's not consistent with the way the other ones are. Um, I just put it there for clarity um, to number them in order like that and not in paragraph form. So anyway, number three is um, also already in the, in right. the existing yeah. one. Um, right. I just added Instead of saying sustainability 
I put in climate action because sustainability is so mushy. Uh, nobody, nobody really understands what it means. And also to determine greenhouse gas emission impacts uh, rather than just impacts because that is what we're talking about. Um, and it's just to make it clear. Okay. That what okay. The makes is. a lot of sense. Good. Okay. Okay. And then the, the fourth one is also in there, um, but- Yeah, one of the greenhouse gas emissions, that's everyone's okay with that, and resilience in order to determine nope. greenhouse, yeah. Okay. And, well, actually, and, it's a little awkward. It determined greenhouse gas yeah. emissions impacts. Right? I thought it was awkward, and then I started thinking about it, and yep. <clears throat> and it makes sense. It sounds a little awkward, but, but as- How about Darcy determine said, the impact of greenhouse gas emissions? Well, no, yeah. No, I, I, I think it works the way Darcy okay. wrote it. Okay, fine. All right, good. Because um, it's not just are we reducing energy, it's how much greenhouse gas use are we reducing almost, or how will these things implement, you know, impact the greenhouse gas use emissions of our energy use. So it, it works. Right. All right. Yeah, I mean, okay. that's what the goals are all about is, yeah. you know, the greenhouse gas emission impact. So, um, okay. Good. And number four is already in there, educating town multi multiple member bodies and staff, it, but that is a little mushy in the current version. So, um, and, and it's, un, you know, I would like to have it more clear on how that's being done and, yeah. Yeah. Um, and how to apply a climate lens, which is what two years ago we were using climate lens language in our goals and that has has sort of disappeared. So I'd like to bring it back. Um, yeah. How to apply a climate lens and decision-making in order to advance the goals. Um, so, um, because that's okay. basically what they need to learn. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You okay, okay with that? So I actually, I, I was going to suggest removing number, what, what was number three, this education one, but I actually like how you reworded it um, so that I'm for keeping it in with the rewording. Good. Okay, good. Okay. So. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, and then the fifth one I, I added in, that's new. Yeah, no, I see. Um, okay. So, um, and that is something that is, you know, super. is something you'd like him to do for this coming year to create a publicly accessible inventory and timeline for the transition of municipal buildings, vehicles, and equipment from the use of fossil fuels. So it would, you, be, yeah. it would be yeah. a list of, you know, like the facilities director, Jeremiah LaPlante would probably like have a list of all of our buildings and what their age is and what kind of heating system they use. Right, and, right, and right, 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 right. Like so what? we're already working on a capital inventory, right? Because that's part of the charter requirements. Um, oh, right, yes. Yeah, we so, have a bunch of duplicative in Right, <laughs> and so we're trying to combine everything into one. Finance has recommended certain things to be in that inventory. Jeremiah and Sean and all have been working extensively, including DPW and all on a list of vehicles. And we finally, as a, as a JCPC, got an extensive list. It's missing some information. Um, we could potentially add into that um, capital inventory, because that's, I think, what it's called in the charter, um, you know, a... So you could so say include in, in the capital in, inventory. Include in the capital inventory X, Y, and Z. A timeline like for the transition of um, the buildings. Right. I think I'd be okay with that. I'm wary of this, how it's written right now, but um, because we don't want six different lists. We want Yeah, one no, I list. agree totally. I agree totally. Um, and I, I actually suggested that at some point yeah. in history um that that it didn't make sense and i i suggested more more uh categories in the the chart um so here's what which, i'm going to do and but stop me so, so i think it would be include timelines for transition 
from the use of fossil fuels in the capital inventory or something like that. Why not include in the capital inventory a timeline for? That that could work. Does that work? Is that so? This would come out. So I, you have Darcy Mena weigh in on public accessible. I think it depends on. I assume the capital inventory will will be a public document. Okay, that's fine. I'm assuming um, it, it becomes when when it's handed to JCPC and then the council as part right, of the capital improvement council, program. Right. So include in the capital inventory a timeline for the transition of municipal buildings, vehicles, and equipment from the use of fossil fuels. Fuels seems like a fairly straightforward, right? What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, I'd, I'd much prefer that than include you know. the capital inventory, take out this inventory and take out timeline and just make it and. I just a, take out the end. A timeline. A for. timeline. So yeah. I, I think I'm okay with that. I don't know whether the council will go for it, but I'm okay with that wording now. And I, I had another question, and, and this is I had suggested a potential addition to this climate action goal. Um, go ahead which is we are three years or so out from the interim 2025 goals for <clears throat> greenhouse gas reductions, right? And so at what point does it become necessary or logical to receive a report on the progress of meeting that 2025 interim goal? In other words, when, when should we attempt to measure how much we've reduced and how far we are away from meeting that goal. And should that be part of this year's policy goals or should it only be done after the community choice aggregation is implemented? Because I know that's part of one of the ways we will make a huge dent in reaching those 2025 mm -hmm. goals. So I don't wanna do that sort of study or calculation too early. Um, yeah, I think that the, you know, the ECAC is, um, you know, that's part of its charge to um, track greenhouse gas emission reductions. And um, I actually had a six point, which was tracking <laughs> greenhouse gas, which I took out so that I wouldn't uh, overburden us. But um, uh, I, I think it's a good idea. And I actually think that we should probably be doing it uh, every two years. Um, it's, you know, the, the, the most recent one was done in 2017 by an intern. Um, but I think that we need to have a, a better method uh, of, uh, of doing so. And I would be all for adding another bullet saying, you know, track greenhouse gas emissions reductions. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I had it written as report on the progress on meeting 2025 clim interim climate action goals or, or meeting the 2025 green interim greenhouse gas reduction climate action goals or something. Um, yeah, because mm -hmm. we need a report. And it's how he does the report. I would expect, you know, I, I don't want to dictate what the report looks like, but I think we want a report by the end of this 2022 on our progress towards those 2025 interim goals. I, I agree because, um, you know, we don't have that much time left. And I don't think we should wait until the, um, the community choice aggregation is up and running because of the fact that it, although it's on the verge of uh, apply of our applying to the DPU for the CCA part of it, um, the DPU uh, did not has has fourteen municipalities waiting to hear. They have not looked at one application over the last year, and so they're very oh backed up. It's really horrible that, that how backed up they are. So we. So give me Don't some give me some wording here. Okay, let's, okay let's, so, let's so the way I'm writing it is report. So by oh by reporting, we need number five needs to be including everything starts ing. I understand, I understand. including. Oh, sorry. And then yes. number six would be reporting on the progress okay. made towards meeting the 2025 slow, interim slow. reporting on the progress climate. 
made. Action. Go ahead. Um, towards meeting the 2025 interim climate action goals. Yep. No. So reporting towards on the progress made towards meeting. Go ahead. The 2025 interim climate action goals. Interim action. Okay. And should we capitalize that? What do you think? I, climate action goals, you, you're missing climate. Climate yeah. action goals should be capitalized. Should be capitalized. Thank you. And, and is it the progress made, as I think about this, is it just the progress made or um, the progress made and plans towards meeting the interim climate action goals and plans to, again, no. I don't know exactly okay. what. Okay, plan progress is it just made. progress made towards and plans for meeting so after towards it could well, say, let's again let's yeah i mean because we can get the progress and then i mean or we could get the progress and then the council can say okay how are we going to get the rest of the way right i think right now we just i think what i'm hearing is that we just want to know where we stand in terms of yeah. our 2025 goals and beyond that and that's something he could do i mean the other thing i'm asking every time we write one of these is this something he could actually do in the coming year right yeah. And I mean, I'm not saying he couldn't do the other as well, probably could, but it would be, um, okay. Well, it's in a way it's, it's what it's asking is, yep. and we'll be seeing what the portions of the climate action adaptation and resilience plan, basically what you're asking is how, are, because the, the, the CARP sets up how to actually meet the 25% by 2025. And basically what you would be asking is, how do you plan on actually doing this between now and then? Um, so. And whether we can, right? Like that's the other thing. Have we made sufficient already that we can continue on that CARP plan or are we so far behind that we have to do something else or are we ahead that, you know, yeah. So is it in light of something, in light of X, or is it simply reporting? I don't think so. I think okay. it's just reporting on. Okay, fine. That simple is better. So implementing community choice aggregation, implementing portions of the CARP that have been prioritized, ensuring blah, 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 educating, including in the capital inventory. Is that clear enough from the, just that phrase, capital inventory? He'll know what that means? He should. What, do we know? Does, do I as a counselor let, let me look up the charter. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, so that we get. Well, it's it's just the uh, name. The of charter it. will have the wording. Give me okay. a second. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess we need to change the take out the and in number four and put the and in number five. Yeah. So it's just called the capital inventory. You can um, capitalize it. Capitalize capital inventory. Um, you could reference the charter, charter section 5.7a. Thank you. Five point A. Five point seven A. So including in the capital inventory, charter section 5.7a, a time including in it a timeline for. Okay and reporting on the progress made towards meeting the 2025 interim climate action goals. You need another parenthesis after A. Oh, sorry, A is supposed to be in parentheses itself. All right, thank you. So you'll need double parentheses on the close side. Okay, and this should be semicolon and. I think we're just commas and. Uh, yeah, this is we're just com commas. Commas, thank you. And um, I will, if you will trust me, I will make these edits. Uh, and once we agree on this language, if we have agreed on it, I will go in and make the changes to um, that section. And I will send this to um, to you all for just for you to look over if you have any, if you see anything that's, because it will go to the council uh, for the December 6th, you know, it's a draft two, but right. I will send it out to all of you later today um, for you to look over. 
And if you see anything, any typos or any concerns, let me know. Rather than watch you watch me do this right now. Mm -hmm. And okay. George, that okay? uh, yep. if, if you could send it um, soon after the meeting, we're having an ECAC meeting today and it would what be- time? What time? Uh, meeting, the meeting's at 4.30, so okay. you got plenty of time. But yeah, it would be nice to be able to send that, put it in the, that packet so they can look at it. Um, let me think for a second. I, I could send it to you easily. Um, I'm, I, should I be sending it? Uh, uh, I'm just asking. I, I'm just out loud here. Uh, should I be sending it to other entities before the council's had a chance to actually? I mean, this is just a draft. I, the council hasn't really. Um, I, I'm uncomfortable with it going to random entities yeah. before. The I see. Why, why would you like them to see what it? Their what comments would be the point? Yeah, would, entered yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, just so yeah. they are since it's yeah I, they're very interested obviously in this no no everybody is i think every i hope that that the whole town actually you know, i'm really proud of this document and if it actually, we send yeah. it there then what is right. you know the reparations group going to say or right. the housing right. trust going to say i i think we need to send it to the council first yeah right now this is an internal document uh for because we haven't you know voted on it or anything um and I want your input because you're members of this committee um, and make sure that whatever I give the council on December 6th is, is what we've agreed to. Um, so obviously we're all free at that meeting to, to change our minds or make other additions or whatever. Um, so, um, I mean, I, yeah. So I think Darcy, I have no problem sharing it with you. Um, and, uh, I guess I'm not going to give advice to people on what they should or shouldn't do, but I guess I would just point out it is at the moment an internal document that we're trying to get the council to finally, you know, come to agreement on. And at that point, then it becomes a public document for people to comment on. And if, if say, you know, ECAC or reparations or somebody looks at our document that we vote on and says, I don't like that, or this, why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? The next council um, could easily revise this. This is not written in stone. This is a living document that can be changed at any time. Um, so I guess my thought at the moment is let's us get our act together and as a council and first as GOL and then as a council and then the public is certainly free to weigh in and reach out to individual counselors or the council as a whole and say, how come you didn't put this in there? How come you didn't put that? Um, does that make sense? Um, are we, are yeah, we, uh, um, yeah, yeah. So just, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I guess the thought is I just don't want to be sending, I don't want to be emailing this to everybody in, in, on creation. I'd really like to keep it internal. Um, but that doesn't mean we're not interested in what other people think. Um, and they can certainly weigh in through their counselors. Um, I mean, you could come back to us on December 6th and say, having met with ECAC, I'd like to make yet a further change to the climate action, or I'd like to revise this, whatever. You're perfectly free to do that. Um, uh, so yeah, I will, I will send this to you all, um, including Sarah, everybody on the committee, um, later this afternoon, once I have a chance to, to put in the edits for, your, to, for you to look at. Great, and, thank you. Okay. All right, all right. All right, um, so, I, are people okay with this? And I'm just going to um, just copy. go move I'm it over. I'm sorry. You'll just move it over. Yeah, I will. I will make the changes later uh, this afternoon. I don't. You don't want to watch me do this now. Um, I don't think. Um, so I want to make sure that this gets okay. So it's been saved. And again, we're okay with the changes. I take it. Uh, I mean, we can always change it again, but th this seems fine. Yep. All right. Okay, I'm gonna move that away. Um, now we just have the document itself. Okay, and I wanna get, make sure it's on, whoops. Yep, so we see your, we still see your whole desktop if you wanna change it to just the document, just Okay, thank you, Let's, let me do that. So let me stop sharing. Let me go to that document. All right. Okay. Community health and safety. Um, 
I don't have any notes from the council meeting of anyone seeking changes to this. Um, Did you receive anything? Uh, there was there? an issue. I'm not sure where reparations would go. Um, that's that probably was, in social justice number. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank five, you. Right. Yes, no, that's six, correct. Racial that equity correct. and social justice. All right. So community health and safety, um, to ensure the health and safety of the residents of Amherst by continuing to take all steps necessary to ensure the health of the community in the presence of the COVID-19 pandemic. I assume that given the current situation that we're in, that still is the case, right? Mm -hmm. um, and two, in accordance with the council's vote on December, and that's a coming vote, could be December. Um, we don't know. Right, I exactly. think it's coming on the 20th. Yeah. I would leave it open though. Yeah, and in consultation with the council and the residents of Amherst, implementing the Community Responders for Equity, Safety and Service Agency. Okay, so implementing, okay. Um, to provide services. To respond to issues of homelessness, mental health and other non-criminal calls to emergency distress. Period. Period. Is, is yeah. that the language that's in the, in the uh, proposal? of the definition of the program? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't look no, it up. I, I don't know, that, that's the language that was in last year's goal um, okay. in terms okay. of the homelessness, mental health and other non-criminal calls. I, I'd have to look up the... I mean, there still is obviously a question that has not been resolved and will not be resolved, I don't think anytime soon about the extent of, of these, you know, of what calls will be responded right. to and what won't. I think there's a, that's all left, that's just to be, to be determined. What we're asking the town manager to do um, in consultation, I think Paul's question, he, he sent me a brief email message. I'll read his actual words so you can hear it. Um, under section Roman two, uh, number two, the community health and safety goal. I'm not really sure what it means to consult with the council quote, and residents of Amherst, unquote. Mm. What evidence would the council expect to show uh, or expect that I would provide that, that I've consulted with, quote, the residents of Amherst, unquote, on implementing CREST? So he had a question about that. Um, I'd be okay deleting the clause because we're gonna vote the agency and this is to implement that agency. Um, so, so I'd be fine with deleting the clause between December X, 2021, and then implementing. And not so that in, it reads in accordance in with the council's vote, right. implementing the, the CRESS agency to provide services. So in accordance with the council's vote on December X, 2021, implementing the, the CRESS, uh, Agency. Yeah, I hate that. Oh, yeah. But he called it an agency. Okay. Who's, Implementing who the agency. Paul Paul's, did in his memo, yeah, yeah. in his reorganization memo, it was an agency. Okay. Rather than a department? Yep. All right. Well, that's. Now, could it be whose mission is or no? That, no that's dangerous, I guess, when we start. To, yeah, I would uh, be taking that language out too. Okay, so let's, uh, these are changes that we can make. So in accordance with the Council of Women and then uh, 2021, whoops, implementing the community responder for agency to provide services to respond to issues of homelessness, mental health and other non-criminal calls to emergency dispatch. All right. And so that's okay. Economic vitality. Um, the comment from Paul was whether, uh, do you want to say something in this document or more appropriately, the budget guidelines? So I guess it's two options there about hiring an economic development director. That was mentioned by at least one member of the town council. I don't think it is necessary because I've identified funds for a similar position using ARPA funds, but I simply want to raise it uh, for you to consider. Um, uh, my initial thought on this is, in spite of the fact that I've been pushing for this for you know a long time, 
is that um, because of the ARPA money and the action that Paul has committed to take with it uh, for the moment, that seems to be, um, I guess, adequate, or at least something. Um, and also given the fact that the economic development position was basically cannibalized or eliminated, not eliminated, but basically that, that funding was, was switched over to the DEI director. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I don't have a strong feeling on this one. Yeah, I, I don't I, know. The other, I, I have that one as one of the council comments. I had asking for more comprehensive plans, particularly as it reflects number one, working closely to provide support and assistance to business communities. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what that meant means. I think it's just language changing, but. So this would be item two or a separate item? I think it was part of item one. All I have is a note that says, ask for more comprehensive plans here and other places. And I have a pointing to working closely with local institutions and business entities. So right, that right. was my note. Okay. Um, right, right. I, I, think it's, I, I think it's more of a wording of what does working closely with to provide support and assistance versus, you know, do we want you know, actual plans somewhere or provide plans or, you know, no, I think, I think it is we simply want or other things. Evidence, I'm not sure how we'd redo that, this yeah. one though. Right, right. Evidence that he, and we have had evidence over the past year. Yeah. So um, evidence that he continues to work closely with, you know, local institutions, I assume means the colleges and university, right? Right. Um, I and mean, we could just say that. Um, but maybe, it, I don't know, does it include- I mean, we could get rid of local institutions and just say businesses. Or I, I don't know, I, I think it's fine as it is. Yeah, yeah, fine. Including I would like to right. change right. number three though. Okay, so uh, two is facilitating the review and revision of zoning bylaws to promote diverse neighborhoods, global housing and new growth. I mean, that I think judging from recent comments from some on the council, that might be contentious, but- uh, I'm, I'm happy to leave it there. Yeah, I probably wouldn't want new growth in downtown. Or I think it, that was the, a, a debate last time too. Right, I would so we'll have that debate again, I guess. Debate. Right, right, yeah. So and number so can, three, yeah. the yep. continuing to develop a plan to implement. I want that to read implementing the three actions proposed by the downtown working yes. group as modified by CRC not um, continuing to develop a plan. Yeah. I want to see those actions implemented. So implementing the three actions proposed by downtown working group as modified by CRC and adopted by the town council. Do we want to state them here? Um, is that too much to implementing the three, you know, implementing a, Sean's B, already C asked me what they are, so he's already got it. Uh, I was just saying from the point of view of the council, I know speaking for myself, I would have to scramble to find a document um, that would list. Let me find my email. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, you know, and yeah. that's fine. We could just leave it this way, but everyone's going to ask, what are the three actions? And I probably should have memorized them, but I haven't. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about here. Yeah, I, I think when we hear them, Darcy will go, oh, yeah, of course, those three. But um, the reference here won't mean anything to the public and won't mean anything to me uh, unless it's actually stated or I can tell people what they are. And I think that, um, I guess I would object to us saying as modified by CRC. Well, so, so the downtown parking working group had three recommendations. They were modified by CRC in a memo. Yep. Um, and then the council adopted them as they were, they, they were adopted as modified. So we should probably have the date then, right? So I sent Sean this, the January 8th, 2020 memo from um, CRC. Let me see if I can find the council, um, the council vote. That might take a little bit though. That's, I, I can look that up to, I, for the sake of time. But if, if you feel, I feel that the, the date should be there, but maybe that's overkill. But Darcy's point is, you know, that would then, it would make clear that it's a specific action on a specific date referencing a specific memo modified by a particular committee 
based on the work of the downtown parking working group. So I think the date probably does matter. Right, and it also makes clear that it has already happened. That's not clear. It's not clear that, right. that it, you know, when I read it, I didn't, I don't know the background. So it looked not like, like right. looked like it would require adoption by the town council, right. future adoption. On, and then I'm just gonna leave that blank for the moment. The other question is, um, do we need to list the three actions? I get, again, the point is that since there is a memo and there is an actual action by the council, you could look it up. I mean, I would look it up. Um, yeah, I think they need to be listed. If they, it'd be if, nice. It would be nice, yes. Yeah, you know. Well, it just makes it transparent. Yep, you know, I agree. Public. I agree. I agree. I agree. So I could do that later. Um, Mandy, I, I realize this is maybe more than we can do right now. Um, are you comfortable with the uh, adding the three specifically and the date? Um, I'm, I'm trying to find it. So yeah. that's also true. If we can't find it, that's all another problem. <laughs> so I have the CRC memo, but the two meetings after that memo don't have any zone, don't have any motions on them related to it. Okay. All right. So we need to find if it was in fact adopted and when. I remember have... there being something referred to the finance committee. Okay. Um, so, so here's the, the CRC, CRC's memo was the, the downtown parking working groups priorities were create a dedicated parking management position in charge of all transportation policy planning and implementation, create a dedicated funding source to pay for downtown parking and transportation improvements, and implement high visibility and consistent signage in key locations and update the town's parking's webpage to be more user-friendly. And so CRC voted unanimously to recommend the council accept the recommendations of downtown parking working group through the setting of the manager goals. It also recommends the council refer to the finance committee to make a recommendation regarding the minimum percentage of the transportation fund that should be dedicated to improvements and parking in the downtown. And so there might not be a council vote because the recommendation was to put those things in the manager's goals, which we did last year through this develop a plan. Um, and then it was sent to the finance committee a recommendation um, regarding a minimum percentage. And I think the finance committee had that on a referral and came back or didn't come back. That part, I don't know. But it seems like what I, what we would want here would be just listing those three things and saying, please implement these three things. Yeah, so the dedicated funding source yeah. um, might not, yeah. So we could list those three things from the downtown parking working group, or yeah, at least right. the two that aren't the funding source, because that one seems to have potentially gone to um, the finance committee. We could still have it in there and then, um, yeah, um, it could be sorted out later. I mean, this is basically just saying we want you to do these three things. Yeah. Um, and I think if we do want this, and I think we do, we should list what they are. And I'm not sure um, at this point, do we really need to reference a downtown party working group or the CRC memo, but simply say, or maybe we do, but, but just say, we want you to do these three things. All right. Okay, so so I can I can reword that. I'm taking notes on my own copy of this word yeah, document. I, um, I'll I'll type it up and then right. we can. And then come I would put it in the document and, and, and people can up. review it. Yeah. Um, so and you wouldn't be able to say and adopted by the town council, right? Because the the town council basically said let's put it in the goals, and last year the goal was to continue to develop a plan to implement those things without us listing them. All right. And now the suggestion is just to list them, period. Yeah. Uh, that's the suggestion. I'm not saying we're going to do it, but that's what I'm thinking makes sense. It, 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 yeah. And I like the idea. Of, the plan is we're done with that. Um, now it's time to do something. Let me see what I can come up with. Okay. All right. 
I mean, uh, Mandy, are you okay with that? Because I think the point is to be as concrete and specific as possible with Paul. Yeah. And, and he could come back and say, look, there's no way I can do that. Or no way I can do this in the coming year. And then we can, you know, negotiate on that or not. Um, in the end, there are goals, but I, we don't want to set goals that he says, look, I just can't do that. Um, but, um, okay. All right. So um, what I'm committed to at this point, uh, we're, we're making good progress, but I hope we'll get through this all within reasonable time. We'll be done at, at, at 12.30 for all our six. But um, I'm going to make edits to the climate action based on what we agreed to. Um, Mandy is going to submit uh, some suggested changes to uh, economic vitality item three. Um, Okay. You mind if I share my screen? Uh, in terms of what now? So you can see the change to economic vitality. Oh, you are, you're ready. You've got them already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Let's look at them quickly. Go ahead. Uh, so I stopped sharing for a second. I, I got it. Oh, you can share over me. Oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> Talk about it. I That's thought scary. I was chair. Wait a minute. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> okay. So I turned it into three different things. Creating a dedicated parking management position in charge of all transportation policy planning and implementation. Good. Im implementing high visibility and consistent signage in key locations. Oops, and updating the town's parking website, webpage to be more user-friendly and creating a Small dedicated safe. funding yeah. source yeah. to pay for downtown parking and transportation improvements. Those were the three right. things. All right. So the first two are again sort of broad, you know, keep doing sort of this general stuff. And then the third one is boom, boom, boom. Right. I don't have a problem. I mean, somebody might object to that. Maybe Paul will object to it. Um, you know, um, but I it mean, it, it could be implementing the proposed actions proposed by the downtown working group by creating implementing and creating but that gets I know, you know, right. wordy right I, you know, I think this what i like about this is it's specific and if paul has a problem with it he can he can speak up yeah. um and the first two he won't have a problem with because he's already they were there it. and you know it's not right yeah i but, would have oh go ahead george no please darcy um, my, I, you know, I, I think that this makes sense. The, the tricky part is that, you know, ECAC has been pushing a department level position, uh, for a sustainability director right. and, you know, like one third of what, of our climate action has to do, well, you know, about one third is transportation. And so this is, um, you know, I would probably bring this up that somehow or other this yeah. position needs to be, have a climate lens, right. you know, and right. how to, how to incorporate that into this um, of, um, right. a, you know, right. of, yeah. that this position is a part of the, yeah, no, I, I think that's good to bring up at the council um, because the council may, these were the three that we said implement that this prior three meant last year. And when they actually see what they are, the council may say, I actually don't want X. I don't want Y, you know? Um, right. And so they may end up deleting some of these because I look at it and I go, is, is the parking management position really where I want my money to go when we're trying to do so many other initiatives? I might suggest deleting it when we get to the council, but this is sort of taking what was number three and not working, um, yes. continuing to develop a plan to implement actions proposed and saying, here's those actions, it's time to implement them. And then letting the council say, no, we're, we're done with this one. That's not a goal anymore. Right, I agree. And I think Darcy, um, we above in climate action, we have made it a priority of the town council as a goal that everything should be done with the climate action lens. So that 
sort of we're just assuming that is going to be done with this as well as with everything yeah so, still worth yeah. mentioning i think <laughs> anyway yeah yeah i'm not and, sure that does it uh no nah, well yeah it's, it's, and it's just worse. so george knows i already put in all the darcy all the things we agreed on number one here oh so you've already edited this okay yeah. all right okay i'm just doing it so i have a copy that's great and then you send me that that i yep. will i will that's great that's great i will produce we will provide them with a red line version which will be this and then we will provide a clean mm -hmm. version okay we ready right. for four capital investments yes we, i am okay um to continue progress on the renovation expansion replacement of the elementary schools in accordance with the fort river msba grant award um now what about the repair and or what, what are we gonna do for the jones library yeah it's the it's not the repair of it's the renovation expansion of the jones library so here we want him to continue progress on okay uh now his comment to me which i so he took the words right out of my mouth he read my mind actually he read my comments on the uh, town manager evaluation do you want to be more specific about progress on the four major capital projects and i would scream yes i know this is an issue that has been a frustration for some of the counselors um would you like to add something more tangible and i would this is for discussion and I'm your reaction. I, I mean, I had like, commented at the council meeting that I want something stronger for some stronger wording for both fire and DPW. For fire, yes. it might be begin um, schematic designs. For DPW, it might be identify a location. Um, yes, something like that. I think we have to insist that in the coming year, he um, solve this problem. It's been three years. And um, I don't know what the solution is, but we need a solution. Um, maybe it's DPW gets spread out into three different pieces. But um, so I don't know how you feel about this, Darcy, but I feel like, um, you know, uh, obviously COVID, lots of things happened in the last three years, um, but this is a real, real issue. Uh, so I would like more specific language on both fire and DPW. Um, the first two, fine, continue progress. You know, that, that they, they're gonna run themselves, hopefully, right? And he will continue to do what he has to do to, to make that go. But he needs, I think, to, um, how do you wanna put it? Replace the fire station and find a location. So you know? I, I'm working on it now, identifying a location for the Department of Public Works headquarters, a new location. Um, so I guess identifying is all right, as opposed to finding or securing. <laughs> yeah, I'd like, I'd like to be as strong as possible. And then we can take it out if people say that's too much or Paul says, forget it. But, you know, he says here, do you want to have more, be more specific about progress in the four major capital projects? And the first two, there's nothing we can say, just keep doing what you're doing. But three and four, um, so planning and beginning the schematic design phase for the replacement. I think of the that's the station. phase we're in for the central fire station. That that's we want. And we at the end of the coming year, the new council can say, well, did we fund and begin the schematic or not? Yeah. And number four is did we have we actually found and secured a new location for the Department of Public Works headquarters? <laughs> That's what I'm suggesting. I, I agree with that language. I mean, this is this is not good. But what what's the one year thing for the Fort River MSBA grant? Is it getting towards a? I, this is where we need Kathy yep. and Steve. And they can they can edit this on. on I can ask yeah. them, but I also can. Um, you could just put Steve and Kathy in parentheses, or you know, we can just, um, you know, they can read it and then they can help us. Yeah, for specifics, for details. Good. Okay. Because um, the council will get both, um, and maybe I should just send the red line and make them. That might be the best. I don't know. And then for the Jones Library. 
beginning construction? I think we just, uh, he doesn't have, I mean, what control does he have? He, he just, you know, right? This, these, both of these processes are pretty much self, right? Right. So I think all we're just saying is, you know, keep on keeping on. Unless there's something absolutely specific, right? Like meeting deadlines. Well, you know, right. Fine. Supporting, you know, the uh, the library building committee. Um, uh, I don't know what supporting the library building library committee. Um, in its work too, or needs, uh, just yeah. You know, work. You could say committee's work, and it's, it just say the committee's work to realize the renovation expansion of Jones Library. Yeah. Good. Then and funding. Then the, Go ahead. We put this at the end, and we normally put that in the beginning. Let's just think for a second. At this point, do we keep? Do we need to keep putting it in? Um, maybe we do. Consistent with the vote of 2019. Um, I mean, you've made the point that it's always good to connect these objectives with specific council actions. And so we put um, that vote here. So. Um, So to continue progress on the format of consistent with the October 21, 28 council vote, do we need to have all the other language now at this point, just consistent with that vote? It's just that you know, if somebody wants to know, they can go back and look. Um, I'm just asking, but you take that language out and just say consistent with the 2019 council vote um, uh, by, that's what I'm thinking. Darcy, any thoughts? You think it's, do we have to have that language still? That is the sense of the council that is committed to a plan that will address, right? I mean, just the point is here's the vote, and now the things you need to do meet the deadline, support the library building committee. Um, where's three? Um, three is funding and beginning the schematic design phase. So, fund, fund and begin that. schematic design, and four, find and secure a location. Do you want finding or identifying? I kind of like finding. <laughs> Darcy, you're our type of. Any thoughts? Uh, yeah, finding makes more sense, I guess. I just, I don't know. It's just, it's the same okay. thing, really. It's just, just find it. <laughs> I don't want you, he could identify and say, well. And yeah, can we delete there. this part that George wants to delete? Darcy, what are your thoughts? I would delete it, but yeah. <laughs> I think the point is there's the vote and that's that's just connecting it to something we did and and the rest of it is just verbiage. Um, what about this one consistent for the for the library consistent with uh, so uh, so to realize the renovation expansion of Jones Library consistent with the town council's April 5th 2021 vote and the election results on November 2nd Oh, or, yeah. And the, I mean, that and might the be voters. worth it for the moment. That might be worth putting in just because it's it's been so contentious. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it, that, right. It's just connecting to actual um, votes or decisions made by relevant entities. There. Okay. That work? Works for me. I don't know, Darcy. I, I have no comment. Okay. I know. I know. Funding and beginning the schematic design phase and finding and securing a new location. Good. I like that. All right. Housing affordability provides access to safe, affordable housing for low and moderate income residents by implementing the comprehensive housing policy adopted by the town council policy. Okay, now that's, yeah. <laughs> what does that actually mean? <laughs> I, I really don't. And I, I, I mean, we have to prioritize stuff, right? And I know, and, and we don't do have that. time now to do that. Um, it's already been referred to the manager and CRC for implementation. So, yeah. um, so your thought is just leave it as it is, even though I would leave it as it specifics is. Specifics are completely 
Yeah. I mean, again, I mean, the, my the best thing always, to yeah, do right. is instead of using the word implementing, we could we could ask for a specific type of implementation, whether that's developing a plan for implementing or prioritizing or you know reporting on your priorities for implementing. You know, we could yeah. do something like that. Because what we're asking him is to uh, get back to us on what he plans to do. I mean, the, oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, mean, I would I'm, just leave it that general. I mean, if I were Paul, I would look at us and say, right. what are you asking me to do here? You know, other than, okay, you, you created this plan. Okay, and it's got, you know, all these things in it. So what am I supposed to do? Right. So what are we telling him to do? We could say developing a plan to implement. I mean, who has to act here? Is it, isn't it or, really the council? Or has reporting to be... on the progress, on progress for, or progress towards meeting, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, my, my thinking is, look, he's looking for us to tell yeah. him what he, we want him to do in regards to uh, affordable housing for low and moderate income residents. And just telling him implement the, the housing policy is meaningless. So at this point, if what I about this, him, yeah, go ahead. Working with the community resources committee to implement the comprehensive housing policy. Because it's also sitting in CRC right now. No, no, so I mean, that, that means right. CRC's first thing will be um, what's, our priorities, right? What are we tackling first? Right. He's looking for us yeah. to give him the priorities. We, we, we're not asking him to do that, right? And we know it's difficult. I mean, we, we saw what it was like. I mean, it's, it's right? Yeah. So it is really CRC, hopefully, setting out some time to establish a set of, based on that report, saying, here's what we want to prioritize, A, B, C, D, right. sending it to the council and having the council go yay or nay, and then goes to Paul and says, okay, here are our priorities, but we don't have them yet right now, right? So I we think don't. maybe working with CRC to implement is the better thing. Uh, at least it's something he can he can say, I can do that, you know? CRC? I, I guess I feel like it should be work with the town council to implement, yeah. not CRC, because it's- Well, the town council's referred implementation to the town manager and yeah. CRC by yeah. a formal vote. Right, right. That's why I say CRC. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's already referred it to the manager right. and CRC yeah. for implementation. And is that something that's in part, I mean, when CRC is carrying things over, I mean, how, what? It's on the automatic carryover part. Right. Yeah. That motion, that referral. Yeah. Good. I mean, it's going to be a real challenge for them, but that's. That's yeah. why it's CRC. They love. They live for those things. And then the other comment, I think this came from you, George. You wanted to modify this one too, and I'm just going to do it here. Yeah. I think that's how you wanted it modified. Well, this I think came from Shalini. Or maybe it was Shalini. I was Shalini. I'm, you know, I'm agnostic on this. Um, I want us to, and I realize the challenges, but let's look at it for a moment. Ensuring the operation of seasonal shelter. I'm, you know, yeah. And creating a permanent year round shelter in Amherst. At the moment, we don't have that. Right. Um, He's been exploring the possibility. No, exactly, exactly. Um, this sort of raises the bar a bit or puts a little bit more mm -hmm. pressure. Um, because last year we said explore the possibility. Okay, he did that. Now we're saying create, do something. Whether it's regional, I don't know how, you know, there's lots of moving parts here, but I, I'm okay with it. Creating a permanent, year-round shelter in Amherst. Do we wanna keep seasonal or year-round? I mean, the thing is, if you've got a permanent seasonal shelter, 
could you make it year round, right? Like, is it just gonna sit empty part of the year? Um, I think that, um, yeah. You need the staffing for year round, but. Right. Um, Or do we want to just leave it where it was before? I hear you. Yeah. I think Shawnee can weigh in if she wants to at the meeting. I, this is not, I mean, I, as I said, I'm agnostic. Um, I just want a, something permanent um, that as opposed to, again, now we're in the Lutheran church this year. Who knows where we'll be the next year. Um, yeah, can I, I would, I would vote for just leaving it, you know, that creating a permanent seasonal or year-round shelter in Amherst either through and I guess we still leave the repurposing of surplus town buildings though I don't think there's been any yeah um, serious looking at that but I think we could just leave I guess we'll leave it in uh, so, or, so yeah. here's the next question in Amherst we could we could get rid of this whole phrase right yeah. get rid of the descriptive as we've been doing on some of these the question right. is in Amherst or because it's a regional thing do we want to say for unhoused Amherst residents? Leaving the possibility that that creation could end up in Hadley. If it it's won't. A regional. Well, but you know <laughs> what I'm saying, though? It would leave, it, he's, he's seeking regional solutions and regional money. And but I think this, I mean, we want Amherst. it in Amherst. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's because okay. the community is committed to it. The community has okay. always, you know, I think. Um, but I, I think taking the other language out is probably makes sense. I think it's just verbiage, right? I know, right? If he finds a different way to do it, yeah, is it right? And he he will, I'm sure. I mean, we'll let, yeah. When they finally solve it, it won't be anything like we imagined, probably. Yeah, I don't think we want to say unhoused Amherst residents either, because it's very you know, residency is very muddy in the homeless. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I like that. I like it. Creating a permanent seasonal year-round shelter now. Period. Boom. Moving okay. on. <laughs> Racial equity and social justice. All right. Okay. All right. So we have the long, you know, and a lot of this. I don't know yep. we want to take it out, but it'd be nice to sort of. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll leave and portions of part. Okay. So. So the comments were reparations fund, ARHA, AHRA, DEI department. Do we put those things in and how? I agree. Um, well, and say that again, Mandy Jo. You, so the council comments were that reparations fund may be missing, that the reparations assembly mention may be missing, um, that the reparations assembly might be missing from consistent with the council resolution, council, all of these things that could be end creation of the reparation assembly, you know, um, and the DEI department. See, what I would think that makes sense would be to take the, the, the nice language of one, two, and three as the, at the top, and then specific actions that would, the objective is to uh, racial equity and social justice, our goal is to ensure all community members, number one. Number two, foster community free of fear, da, da, da. And number three, incorporate significant involvement of BIPOC residents in shaping these policies and procedures. That I think is important, but what really has meaning are the specific actions that would then help us realize those, that, those stated goals. So in order to realize one, two, and three, we uh, are asking the town manager to mm. A, B, C, D. That's so you're looking thinking. to switch this as the intro is this. That's what and I'm And then thinking. it's by right. one implementing the DEI exactly. department. The numbers two. would be, exactly. Okay. Exactly. exactly. That's what I'm thinking. And, and um, should we get rid of uh, I think at this town point, council votes? I would yeah, just say it's, with it's, town it's, council votes. Yeah, so, um, so. Uh, Let me work on it. I would like to start with just the, the lovely one, two, and three to ensure da, 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 and take the numbers out or just 
you know, yeah. just to ensure yeah. this comma and this uh, whatever, because the numbers should refer ideally to specific goals that we want the town manager to pursue in the coming year to realize a community which we just described above. So that's what I'm thinking out loud. Consistent with town council votes. Um, and you could just give the dates. I think all the rest of that can come out. It's just, you know, what I wanna highlight and, and put up front is what's at the end. And then specify specific things we'd like him to do Right, and then that's you know, how, you know. Good. What are we doing? Yeah, uh, well, we have reparations, but there, that's um, would it be supporting or um, facilitating? Um, because there's a whole number of things that are going to have to happen before that, and I'm not sure how many of them he actually has a control over. Right. Um, would it be supporting or implementing the recommendations of? Right. Because we don't know what those. Are, I mean, right now we don't know what they are. And and but um, but I do agree that we need to mention these things. Um, I think. And what is the name of the new committee? Um, Supporting the work of the whatever the name of the new committee is. Right, the Crest, right. Supporting the work of the African Heritage Reparations Assembly and making recommendations for, um, you know, repairing the damage of structural racism. Is that, you know? That's what I was looking for. Right. Um, In Amherst, I mean, again, we're, we're dealing, I mean, insofar as we're trying to deal with it as within our community and supporting the work of the, and then I agree, what is the name of the committee? -S -S CSSJ Community <sighs> Safety and Social Justice Committee. And this period, um, I like that. You want to add um, and exploring um, yeah. what it, exploring um, implementation of the goals put forward by the community safety working group. I think it's already been mentioned above, right? I mean, we as a specific, right? Up above in uh, public, was it public safety? And public safety was the implementation of that program, but not the rest of the, the right. parts A and B. And now that I deleted that intro, that part's there. So let me see what I can do here. Um, so, you know, though the, the, the town council hasn't, endorse them or taken any action on them, I think that we should acknowledge well, that's, that's that the they problem, exist. Nursing. That's the problem because right. they have just, it. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Sorry. That's why I'm saying explore, yeah. explore implementation or um, of the recommend, recommendations of the... Uh. About that. Ah. Uh, right. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Um, do we have to say? Um, see, I hate putting in implementing recommendations of something we don't know what they are. Um, yeah, I'd rather say explore implementing the recommendations and leave out that that may be adopted by the town council um, rather than saying 
implementing recommendations because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know which is better. Right, 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 um, right. I, I like it as we haven't voted them yet. Exactly. Things might get right. voted. And so we would expect him to implement the recommendations contained uh, recommendations of. Are just contained in parts, port in parts. Well, I would just say implementing the recommendations con contained in the community safety working group reports that may be that are adopted. So the community safety working group no longer exists. Right. right? So it's the reports, which and are reports, right here. Right. And the reports. But it's whatever we adopt as a town yeah, council. It's, 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 yeah. And so. I guess I'm about managing expectations here. I want to, um, What if we do implementing that are adopted by the town council? Because we haven't, and or. But see, he would. I mean, again, that's anodyne. I mean, it's it, you know, what's it, of course he's going to implement it. So it, it's if it's something specific, yes. But since we don't have anything specific, I don't want it here. Um, right. You know, there's nothing I, for I, him to do unless no, we adopt just, it something. It just doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Whereas, one, two, and three. Um, we can actually, you know, there is a community safety justice committee and we want him to, and he will support their work. Um, there is an African heritage reparations assembly that will yeah. be making recommendations and we want him to support their work. Um, so, right. so this one is a future proofing this document basically so that we don't have to modify the document if the- I'd rather they modify it. I'd rather they, I mean, so let's well, just say, I'm sorry. And for if adopted, no, I don't, I don't like that. You know, I just, yeah, I, I, you know, I, if it's I, adopted, yes. If it's not, it doesn't belong in here. Right. It isn't adopted yet, but I, my concern is by not including it, it sort of erases the fact that they ever existed, you know, different oh. the proposals that were made by the community safety working group. And so, um, uh, yeah, I'd rather just say explore them, explore the recommendations. What what about what about explore and recommend to the town council? Exploring and making recommendations to the town council on the see three three was created in my understanding. The, the Community Safety and Social Justice Committee was created to ensure, in using their language, to ensure that these recommendations were followed through on. So by doing three, right? I mean, four is just sort of restating what the mission of three is. Right? Is there something in? Not necessarily. The also, mission of three is also to support the DEI director um, and do some other things. No, no. Three says supporting the work of the Community Safety and Social Justice Committee. Which is not just the community safety. I understand that, but that's part of what that's part of what their charge is. So um, I'm under, I'm trying to understand what the point of four is that doesn't promise more than it can deliver and isn't also based on things that we actually haven't made any decision about. Right, but it does fall under yeah. racial equity and it's, it's clearly super important to the, the uh, you know, former community safety working group. So what about That's this three. one? Yeah. The, the, the last time the council discussed part B report, the part B report, the council yeah. wasn't sure what it was supposed to do. That's right. Because part of it was we didn't have any guidance from the town manager. Right. Right. And so if we word it this way, we're, we're asking the manager basically to give us guidance regarding the actions that recommended in the community safety working group reports and make those recommendations to help us figure out what 
we need to do. Yeah. So it could if be. If you remember that matrix that was created, it was like yes. who does what, and we didn't know what to do with it. And That's so because we haven't don't had we want honest, to. Yeah, we haven't had an honest discussion about it, and we probably never will, at least not in my lifetime. Uh, it's going to be a future council. Uh, right. matter, I think. I mean, we'll have a forum or is it a public meeting? Whatever the hell. Um, the TSO will have its uh, December, whatever it is, meeting. And that'll be the only time, I think, that we'll actually have a chance to ask questions and, and uh, listen to the public. So we haven't had a discussion about this in any real detail. And it's the council, the manager looks to us and we look to him and we're sort of in this. What uh, if we just highlight this with a comment that says needs reworded and discussed at town council? I would prefer, <laughs> I'd either, like to, have it, I'd either no. like to have it in there or have it out. Yeah, I would like to have it in myself. And I'd like to have oh. it out, but I may <laughs> lose this vote, that's fine. But um, yeah. cause I don't think, I think it's just, it's verbiage. I don't know what to put in, right? I, I, I agree with out. Darcy that we shouldn't just not have anything there yet. I don't know what could go in because I, I agree with the, if we don't put stuff in here, we may lose that momentum um, and we may oh. never discuss it and we may never, and, and you yeah. know, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with where things have been left with those reports at this point. And so is that on the council to have a discussion or is that on the manager to do something? And I'm not sure which is it is. So I think I think having the having something in this goal for the council to discuss, whether that be that might read something like Okay. Well, maybe we just leave it the way it is yeah, and then and it, uh, we'll see what happens. And and just put a note that says. So why even explore it? It's just making recommendations to the town council regarding actions recommended. And um, you know, I, I just yeah, you that's know. fine. And it you know it could be as simple, George, as yeah. uh, the town manager saying um, you know he he likes the idea of a of a community center and right. suggests that we look at existing town buildings like schools that are gonna be vacated or whatever. Right. Right. Um, and not necessarily a new building, but you know. You yeah, I, would, I would personally, I would personally be just speaking for myself. I would like to see um, a youth empowerment center. You know, some, you know, using, I mean, I think, I think that they're looking into it. Do we want to make that a specific goal? Um, I would be for that personally. But well, then, isn't that, that exactly what we're saying here? Uh, no. So no I, this is this is all of them. And yes, so what you know, George would pick, say. Pick your favorite. Is, right, right, right. Some right. of the recommendations I probably would support, but that one I would. But maybe that's the point. Make it vague because if we try to get specific, we'll have it, we'll have a huge debate. But I would love to see something like in the coming year, um, you know, what, create, institute, whatever, a youth empowerment center. There's my comment. Good. I think, what do you think, Darcy? Is that at least it, it will provoke discussion, hopefully, and, and however the council decides to go on it is the council's decision. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think uh, hopefully- and I think, does this meet the concern? I know Evan was quite um, outspoken about this, that he, you know, he wanted this in here. Yeah. And this does seem to be what I think he and others were, 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 were hoping to see. I think this addresses, with the reorganization of the whole goal, addresses the concerns. Yeah. Yeah, what did Evan say? Oh, he just, he was, he was, I don't know, he didn't use the word shocked, but he, he was distressed or whatever would be the appropriate word that, you know, because we just basically gave them the document without any major. Right, yeah. Didn't yeah. No, I remember. Said, where's where's yeah. reparations? Where's DEI? Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember that. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, and, and I heard him. Um, and I said, well, Evan, just wait for us to write draft two. Yeah. Um, I, what do you think? I really like the beginning. I mean, you know, of all of this, I'm at the beginning of this. Are people okay with this? So it, 
it's taking out the, all the, the other verbiage and just really honing in on what I thought was a very, um, so how does it begin? I just, can we just- Give me a second. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Mandy. Sorry. We're gonna give it in black so everyone can read it. Okay. Now we begin with all the others. Let me just scroll up again. Can you scroll up just to a second goal? I think we begin with a two. No, that's the objective, right? We begin objectives with two, but I, I understand that. Um, um, so, how, oh. so I think it needs a little bit of reworded. To ensure, you could say to ensure all community members feel and are a part of Amherst. Let's get, to ensure all community members feel and are part of Amherst. Now we need to, yeah. Members uh, are protected. What, what if we, to foster a community free of fear, intimidation and violence and incorporate significant involvement of BIPOC residents in shaping policies and procedures consistent with the town, count, with town council votes by? I mean, I don't want to lose that beginning thing, part. But... I want to keep that beginning sentence, but I want to fix it. What if we are just to ensure all community members are protected, listened to, and served by their public servants? Yes, that's I like that. To foster a community free of fear and intimidation, to and violence, and incorporate. To incorporate significant involvement of BIPOC residents in shaping policies and procedures consistent with town council, consistent Vote. with- by. Now, I was just troubled by, or puzzled by consistent with town council votes. Yeah, it's, it's in a weird spot. Yeah, that doesn't um, seem like, an, yeah. you know, it's sort of like saying, we want you to be at the table, but um, we want you to be at the table after the town council So votes. it's really a shaping policies and procedures um by yeah and is it is it shaping policies and procedures particularly relevant to social equity racial equity and social justice i think that's what it means right yeah i don't think yeah we don't need that good okay no i think we just can well this is under that title mandy yeah no so i'm not sure we need it i think Darcy's right. I think we can. And if people want to add it. And the consistent add. with votes, I'm not sure we absolutely need. I don't think we need it. I think at this point, we are articulating a fundamental objective um, that I think all counselors share. And then specifically to do that, DEI, support the AHRA and the Community Safety and Social Justice Committee and then four, we'll see what people think of that. Okay. Right. So, all right, I we're over time. We're over time. Seriously, we also have to be. Well, well this, this is, yeah. This is this is one of my suggestions. Yeah. This is going to be a significant talk, no matter whether we give them the council on Monday, the whole thing, or just a first half or a second half. Right maybe we want to have another meeting next week. I know we're all hate adding meetings where we stop now, we provide the council with the modified policy goals, which yep. then cuts the discussion in half at the council too, because they only have the policy goals to talk about. Right, right. We deal with management goals next week, which can then go to the council on the 13th for discussion. How much do we have left here that has been- yeah, in terms of We have- all of the management goals and a potential new goal because of comments and looking at my discussion, my notes, administration, the administration leadership and personnel has a lot of comments. Finance has a lot of comments. Um, community, the, all, almost all of them had a lot of comments because they wanted things moved between different goals. Yeah. I agree, and, Mandy, we don't have the time or energy tonight, today to work our way through the second right. half. Um, I mean, and so we have an option of just start stopping now and saying, here are the this is as far as we got. ones. This is as far it's as we what got. we've got. We'll get yeah. the next ones later. We have an option of continuing on, which I don't think we want to do. Um, we have an option of assigning one of us to 
modify the management goals in accordance with what things said, but I don't, I'm just giving no. you options. I'm not no, sure. No, I, I, one, I, I, but, I agree. You know, I agree. So that the whole document can go to the council, but given the council agendas, the council is not going to be able to make it through the whole document in one night anyway, given everything else to go. And so if we split the council discussion up based on what we have now and then what we have in a week, it could work. Yes, and I think it also gives an opportunity for the town manager to weigh in. Um, he, he would anyway, I'm sure. Yeah. But um, um, if he wants to come and talk to us, I'm not sure that he needs to, um, but he would now have something. I told him, look, there's no point in coming today because he's just going to watch us do what we just did. And that's that's not good. But now he has something concrete. So if he wants to come, he could. But again, next week, we'll be doing the same thing with management goals. Um, he'll be watching us uh, wordsmith it in, in real time. So, um, but we could take his we could take his comments on the policy goals first, and then wordsmith the management goals yes. after he leaves. And then he still has a chance to weigh in on that. And does that still give the council time to? I mean, these just need to be done by the end of December. So right. Lynn okay. hoped to have a vote on the sixth. Now it would be at the earliest; it would be the thirteenth. Right. And it could. And we'd have to add a meeting next Wednesday to do that. Yeah, we'd have to have another GOL meeting. But the kind of hoping this is, is my is a, is a large agenda anyway. So no, no, I, I we're not going to get through this today. That's right. for sure. Um, and so I think that's the option. I don't want you or me or Darcy or anybody sort of responsible for sort of you know trying to produce the second half of this document. I really want to hear, and also we have the advantage of having Pat present, right? And, and maybe Sarah will come. So it would be nice to have all five of us. Um, as we make our May through management. Um, and I do think that while we have a great framework, and I think it shows, I think we all agree that this each year, this is you've got to really think hard about this. And it's GOL's job. Yeah, you have to think hard about the numbers. Yeah, right. We've got a framework now for the objectives, but yes. not the specifics as to what we think can be accomplished in a year. Yeah. Good. So, uh, Darcy, what do you think? So we would send this document and say to, to Lynn, the first half of it, the council can discuss. The second half, we still have to meet um, and discuss. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. I'm sorry to add an extra meeting. I And I understand if people can't make it, um, but I hope everyone can be there because um, I can see the finish line. And can you still send what we've done today to us? Yes. I, uh, I will send this once I save it and retitle it so it reflects what this meeting. Yeah. I'll send it out to the whole committee. And George, do you want me to just send it directly to Lynn and Athena? Um, let me or just send you. it to, yeah, I'll do it because okay. I need to top, uh, tell her what we did and, and just explain okay. what we think we should she should do. So I'll so, send it just to the, the whole committee. Betty, that'd be great. I will send a, cop, a memo to her about it later this morning, this afternoon. Okay. All right. Um, thank you both very much. Um, future agenda items, it's essentially going to be uh, this. We do have an issue related to, um, what is it? The, the uh, Martin Luther King, uh, and that can be next. I can put it on the agenda. We just need probably to approve that just for the sake of the new GOL committee. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any, just, is there anything it, else? It needs to be at the council on, on the first right. council meeting in January. Right. So we should do it here. And then would that be a carryover then? That would be a carryover, wouldn't it? Um, unless we're going to have this council vote it, right? Oh, it depends we would, on we would have what agenda it's going to end up on for the council. Yeah, we'd have this council voted. So, it's so not we can have this council voted on right. consent in December 20th or something. Right. Exactly. Okay. So um, other than that, it would just be um, getting the second half of this document done. We've looked at everything else. Again, if you have any thoughts about what's gonna go on SharePoint or anything that I'm gonna be sending to the council for December 6th, let me know. But uh, the minutes um, I have looked at, um, I think they're fine. Do you want me just to send them? Do you want to just have a quick vote? Or what do you want to do? I'll just make the motion. Motion to approve. I move to approve the November 17th, 2021 minutes. All right. I will second that motion. Um, and vote. Uh, the chair says yes. Darcy? 
Yes. And Mandy? Aye. Thank you. I will send those along to Athena. I will also send her, I will put uh, the GOL meeting for next week. All right, that's it. And there's no public in attendance for Thank your you public for checking. comment. Um, yes. Thank you all. All right. We'll see each other all too soon. Thanks, George. Bye-bye. Thanks, Athena. Hi, George.